when you use your phone open any application watch any video like something everything is recorded all the action you take gets stored in database every day 2.5 quintillion bytes of data gets generated that's 2.5 followed by 18 zero now before we had technologies we used to store our data differently we used to store our data into papers and file but if you wanted to find something it gets really difficult to find something from the paper so after that computers came and we started storing our data into computers so we started using different software such as ms excel to store those data now storing data is just the one thing we also need to access the data and find the relevant information. So finding information from MS Excel or paper gets difficult when the size of the data increases. So to solve this particular problem, we developed database management system. Database management system are designed to store and retrieve data in efficient manner. So we have a scripting language called as a SQL, SQL, structured query language. That is the language we use to communicate with the database. So in case if you want to find something, let's say if you want to get the records of last 10 days, so you can just fire up the SQL query such as select star from last 10 days and you will get the relevant output. Now almost all the companies use SQL on their day to day job to insert data, to update data, to retrieve data and many more things. So in this particular video, I will tell you about how I use SQL as a data engineer and I will also help you to understand basic concept of SQL and how you can learn it. So let's start by understanding what is SQL. SQL stands for SQL Structured Query Language. It is a language that you can use to communicate with the database. So as we discussed, in order to find the records from the paper-based storage, you will have to manually go through each and every page till you find the right record. If you want to find a record in Excel, then you will have to use the Find option or Ctrl plus F to find the right record. Well, with the SQL, you just have to pass the set of instructions. For example, if you are working in an e-commerce company and the data of your order are stored in order table and you want to get the all the orders you got yesterday, then you just have to write the query like this. Select star from order where order date is equal to current date minus one. So using just one line of code, you will get all the information you need within seconds. So before diving deep into SQL and how I use it, let's understand the structure of database management system. First, we have database management software. These softwares are developed by different companies, organization and open source team. These are the top database management system available in the market. I mainly use Postgres SQL for my work because it is open source and it is easy to use. Once you install the application, then you can start using SQL for various activities. SQL is a universal language and it is supported by almost all the databases. Some of the databases might have different syntax or way of writing it, but you will get the same result at the end. Inside the database management system, we have databases. Database is an organized collection of data so in one company there might be multiple databases for different teams such as accounting IT department marketing sales etc and inside the database you have tables this is where your actual data gets stored so what is table SQL table is a collection of data that is organized in terms of rows and columns something like this as you can see we have four columns and five rows in this table this is known as the relational table because you can create multiple tables and define the relationship between them. With the relational database, we also have non-relational or the NoSQL database. So the NoSQL databases have different use cases. So if you want to store data into key value pair, graph data or anything else, then you can use the NoSQL database. In this video, I want to focus on the relational side of the database, which is SQL. Now we understood the basic concept of relational database but these databases are not good for analytics. What is analytics you ask? Let me tell you. Let's take the example of an e-commerce company again. Every company gets thousands of orders and these information gets stored in relational database. But relational databases are not good for analytics. So if you want to fetch the last three years of orders and check how many of them got delivered and how many of them got written, then it will take a lot of time to compute because relational databases are not designed for such type of work. That is the reason we have data warehouses, also known as OLAP system. So now we have two things. One is OLTP, also known as Online Transactional Processing. And the second thing we have is OLAP, Online Analytical Processing. OLTP, Online Transaction Processing, that is used for storing transaction information for faster reads and updates. And on the other hand, we have OLAP, Online Analytical Processing which is used for analyzing large amount of data. So how does these system work together? Here's where the data pipeline or ETL pipeline extract, transform, load comes into the picture. So the logic is simple. We have data stored in relational database. We want to use that data and create the ETL pipeline, transform that data and put that data onto some kind of a data warehouse or OLAP system. Now you can do transformation using anything. You can use simple Python code. You can use enterprise tools such as Alteryx, Informatica, or you can use any open source framework such as Airflow to do the final transformation. So what do we actually mean by transformation? 
transformation can be anything so if you want to add one column if you want to combine two column and create the new column or if you want to remove any null values or it can be based on business logic and the requirement of the business and once you do the transformation you can store that data onto data warehouse which can be used for further analysis now once we have our data into data warehouse which are designed for analysis so you can build a dashboard on top of it create metrics and do whatever you want so if you want to run a query and analyze the last three years of data you can easily do that using data warehouse and the fun thing is you are going to use the same language which is sql structure query language to do all of these things so you can see the sql is everywhere so this is one of the most important skill to know as a data engineer data scientist or general if you are working into data space you should know sql and how to work with it so how to learn sql these are the few good courses i found online so you can refer that i will put the link in the description so you can watch and enroll into it i will put all the links from the paid courses to books to different websites so you can easily refer them now let's answer how i use sql in my day to day job the first one we already discussed is writing etl job so many companies generally write the transformation job into sql so once they have the clean data onto data warehouse so you can use sql to do more transformation and build more tables for further analysis second way i use sql in my job is to do analysis so when you are working on the dashboarding and analytical side of the data engineering you will be working with a lot of business stakeholders so business stakeholders are the people who work with the business and take different decisions so they want to understand how the business is performing so they will come to you with the different requirements to understand how their business is performing so they will come to you and tell you that what kind of metrics they want what kind of graphs they want to build so you will have to write the sql queries for that and fulfill those requirements you can use sql for many more things from visualization data quality check validation and many more but right now if you are watching this video till here then you are the person who wants to learn something and want to do something in their life and if you want to really get into data field and understand the data space then sql is one of the skill you can't miss so if you are excited to learn sql then put the comment below i am excited to learn sql that way i will know you watch this video till the end and i will understand that you are the person who actually wants to do something in their life thank you for watching this video see you in the next video